All right, folks, today we're going to be making a DIY overflow system for your aquarium that requires absolutely no drilling. Most of my tanks have this in my fish room, and I must say it is very reliable as long as you take certain precautions. I'm going to go over a list of things you need. Let's start with tools. You're going to need a drill, measuring tape, keep everything uniform. I'm using hot glue to hold everything together. You can use PVC Purple Primer. You're going to have to wait a bit longer for it to cure. And as it's curing, it stinks. And you don't want to piss anybody else off, in the, especially if you're doing this in the house. So you can use this, but I recommend doing it outside as it's letting it dry. Some tubing. I'm using 3 8 outside diameter tubing. A pair of dikes. Sharpie marker to mark. And I'm going to throw it together for you real quick. I'm going to push the smaller piece inside. I try to get these two as flush as possible. We're going to be drilling two holes at the top for the tubing to run through. You get the two pieces of PVC. We'll put them on. I'm going to take an end cap on each end. And then I like to make the one outside the tank slightly longer. Just something I like to do. On the front, you're going to be drilling a hole. This is where the water line is going to be. So wherever you drill that hole is, that's the highest the water is going to be able to get to. And then on the back, you want to make a hole lower than the hole you drilled in the front. And I like to come down. That's why I like to make this a bit longer. And then you're going to insert your tubing. I'm going to show you guys a, a hyperlapse of me putting this together. I just wanted to go over you guys with a couple tricks of actually putting this together as well. <clears throat> when you're cutting your tubing, make sure you make a slight angle on it so it doesn't get sucked to the bottom and you keep that siphon going. I like to make these longer and if over time you can trim them down, I just leave them. Um, the height of this really doesn't affect its operation. I have some pretty long ones in here. It's never cut down. And you want to make sure that these are always seated at the bottom. Um, let's go show you what it looks like in the tank. All right, so this is what it looks like in the tank. One of the big things you're going to want to do before you start to use this is to prime it. You can use a five-gallon bucket. I have an empty 75-gallon tank that I'm going to show you how this how to prime it in. Take it off the back. You completely submerge it. You want to make sure you get all the air out. And you're going to place both pieces of PVC, or the, excuse me, both ends of the tubing back in. And you want to make sure again that you want, that's all the way at the bottom. That's crucial. And as you can see, it's coming out the back. And that's how you prime it. Just to show you guys, I have multiple ones of these. That I use. And that's how you create a overflow system without drilling your tank. Really quickly, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you could, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.